a full load of uh, wet clothes. Three, two, one. A high-end gaming PC. Dang. Piece of cake. 1750 watts. It's running that like a champ. Full-size refrigerator. Well surpassed its capacity rating. A spoiler alert, I just finished testing this battery. It has passed every test flawlessly. You won't believe what this battery can do just by itself. So stick around because we're gonna put it through its paces. This battery is from Golden Mate and it's their Orion 1000. There's just some awesome features like this humongo screen that's here on the top, build quality, and especially the power that uh, this thing can pack. Golden Mate did send this out to me free of charge for review and testing, but uh, that's all they did. I get to say and do uh, whatever I want, as is the case with uh, all of my videos. And I get a like and a subscribe uh, for that because you won't believe how many places uh, reach out and uh, want a video done, but uh, want to have a draft sent to them ahead of time uh, before it gets posted for them to vet and uh, make sure uh, things are said the way they want it, etc. So anyway, we don't do that. I want to be real and honest so that you guys can have a really good idea of what uh, you're getting. Let's do an unboxing. All right, we've got some cable terminals here, and then we've got uh, some kind of what appears to be a proprietary cable. Uh, seems to be maybe some kind of communication on cable. And this looks identical to that other cable, but uh, on this end we've got uh, just wires instead of connectors. You know, RS-485A, CAN-H, CAN-L, and RS-4485B. So, anyway, uh, communication cables. Got some documentation. Here's the battery. Pretty cool uh, looking, really strong plastic uh, housing. Look at this screen, it's huge. It says to touch here. Oh no, that's cool. These are terminals. And then it looks like uh, behind these covers are where the communications happen. This thing is uh, built like a tank, uh, and I love how big that screen is. That is that is epic. 12.8 volt, 1,280 watt hour. Pretty typical there. The recommended charge voltage is 14.4 uh, with 14.6 max. Rated charge current 20 amps. That's pretty standard. The max charge current though is only 50 amps on this battery, which is fine, uh, but just know it's only 50 amps. However, the rated discharge current is 120 amps. That is different than a lot. Uh, usually a lot, most of them are just 100 amps. So that's good to see the 120, and then it's rated at maximum continuous discharge current of 150 amps for five minutes or less. So that's pretty exciting. That probably means this will run some of the uh, heavier appliances that have a bigger surge than uh, other batteries. So we'll test that. It's got an IP67 rating. Can hook four of these up in parallel and four in series. This battery also has uh, Bluetooth connectivity so you can uh, monitor things from the app. And this Golden Mate Orion 1000 battery power high-end gaming PC. You can see we've got three 4K monitors. We're running a gaming benchmark here in full 4K, so we're pushing the graphics in the computer really hard. And if you come under here, um, notice that uh, the outlet right back there has nothing plugged into it. And uh, I've got uh, a surge protector back there with a bunch of things plugged into it. Its cord comes over and into this yellow cord right here. And uh, if we just follow the yellow cord over, you'll see that it is plugged into the 3000 watt inverter that's plugged into this battery. So the cool thing is we can see just how much. So that uh, computer is currently pulling a bit uh, over 600 watts to run that. So it can handle a gaming PC slash workstation, no problem. Got this Golden Mate uh, Orion uh, 1000 out here in uh, my garage of all places. The reason I say that is because uh, this is where my microwave lives. <laughs> I actually don't uh, use the microwave in my kitchen. Uh, I just uh, use it here for uh, testing and what have you. So anyway, uh, notice that uh, the uh, microwave cord is plugged in right here, it comes down to this big yellow extension cord. 
and it comes over plugged in here and uh, this is the Renogy 3000 watt charger inverter. So this thing has more than enough oomph to power the microwave. I've done this test before and most 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries like this trip cut out. You know, we've got two watt gauge cable, huge inverter. So the battery is usually the weak link. And that's usually because most of them are only rated for 100 amps of discharge. This one goes higher, so I think it's going to be able to run the microwave. But let's find out. Without further ado, here we go. Dang, it does it. It's the first 12 volt battery I've been able to run that with. 1,800 watts coming out of the battery right now. I'm impressed. That uh, is a t difficult, difficult test. And uh, this battery is doing it no problem. Good job, Golden Mate. Can this Orion 1000 battery in conjunction with this 3000 watt inverter Power, follow the cord, comes in here, comes up, right into that uh, easy generator switch. Full size gas furnace is uh, what we're gonna power next. Be sure and uh, check out uh, the video I made about installing this. It is a lifesaver when the power goes out and uh, it's cold outside and you need some heat. Flip of a switch, you're able to plug uh, an alternative power source in and uh, get some heat going. Highly, highly recommend this. Got the induced draft going. Goes the hot surface igniter. So we don't have a ton of uh, power coming out of the battery right now, only about 112 watts, and a lot of that is actually just the consumption of that inverter. Let's let the fan turn on and uh, see how much power we're getting at that point. All right, fan is up to speed. And as you can see right here, it's pulling 520 some odd watts. So that uh, battery would uh, easily run a furnace for a couple of hours. In case there are any HVAC technicians out there, don't worry, I move all of this stuff out if the furnace ever needs to be serviced. I live in a small space, and uh, so I need some overflow pantry storage out here. And then Golden Mate Orion 1000 run. A full-size vacuum cleaner. Let's find out. Piece of cake. Just over 1,500 watts. The Orion 1000 power a hot plate. Let's find out. Turn it on. Oh, look at that. 1750 watts, no sweat. Check it out, in the app here, it's 148 amps being discharged from that battery. In the Orion 1000 power, a 120 volt mini split. Well, it's going right now, so uh, notice I've got uh, this temporarily rewired. The, the, the power wire comes right here, then comes over, goes into my extension cord and comes and goes into this uh, power wagon here with the inverter and the battery. It's running that like a champ. Uh, it's nigh unto impossible to see, but uh, anyway, it's pulling about 500 watts, just over 500 watts. Next, uh, two tests in one. This is my full-size refrigerator in my kitchen. And uh, what we're gonna do is see how long this uh, Golden Mate uh, Orion 1000 uh, battery can run it for. And then in addition to that, I've got uh, this uh, shunt connected up because uh, we can also do a capacity test at the same time and see uh, how much uh, capacity we can draw out of this battery. So that's what we've got going on here. Notice that uh, the uh, battery is at a 100% state of charge. We've got it uh, coming into the DC input on this power station here. This will provide the inverter that uh, the fridge needs in order to run. It, it also just provides a little buffer uh, in the event that I miss it by an hour or two and uh, this will keep the fridge going uh, even if that battery dies. The uh, shunt is uh, saying it's 100% and uh, I've zeroed everything out here. So we'll be able to see uh, what our total capacity is. 
in both the kilowatt hours and amp hours. And let's turn on the inverter. You can see the light is on, so we've got power. It's 4.04 p.m. on the 14th of the month. We're almost to 11 o'clock on the 15th, so the next day. And uh, this battery is pretty incredible. So check this out. It's zero percent, but still outputting a little over 100 watts. And if we look at the uh, Smart Shunt app here, we've discharged over 104 amp hours. Isn't that crazy? So it is well surpassed its capacity rating, 1.3 kilowatt hours total. And still going, voltage is dropping fast. I anticipate this being done in just a matter of minutes, but 104.2 watt hours, incredible. Oh, and that just died. Well, how lucky are we? <laughs> That's Perfect timing. Crazy but true, that uh, Orion 1000 Golden Mate uh, battery just powered my full-size fridge for 19 hours. And uh, also got uh, way beyond its rated capacity. We pulled 104 amp hours. That is pretty darn epic. I'm impressed. In the Orion 1000 battery, power, full-size clothes washer, and gas dryer. A lot of the 12 volt batteries that I test that are in this size range can run the washer just fine, but they cannot start the dryer. Now again, this is a gas dryer, so it just runs off of standard 120 volt power. And uh, we look uh, back behind here. I don't know if you can see the gas line or not uh, back there, but uh, this is the outlet for an electric dryer and you can see nothing's plugged in. And you can see over here that nothing's plugged into the outlet for standard 120 volt stuff, okay? So usually what kills these batteries is the um, surge needed to get this started. Now I'm optimistic about this Orion 1000 battery because it started the microwave. None of the other batteries I've tested though so far have been able to do that. We're gonna start with the dryer and as you can see, it's a full load of uh, wet clothes. Three, two, one. Oh, it started. That is awesome. I am impressed. It struggled there for a minute, but uh, it did it. Now, of course, this inverter has more than enough oomph to do it. This is a low frequency 3000 watt inverter, huge surge capacity. So for this to be able to do that, that's awesome. Now that it's up to speed and uh, tumbling, you can see it only pulls 300, almost 400 watts is all. Uh, so really not too much on that uh, dryer. But uh, nonetheless, uh, that surge is, is pretty ridiculous. Now let's do the uh, washer. So we've got uh, a load. This is actually a load of towels, as you can see. So very heavy. We're gonna let this run with the dryer and uh, see if the Orion 1000 battery can run both machines. See the washer adds just ever so little uh, amount. We'll come back when it's spinning. That way we've got both the washer and the dryer running together at uh, the max load that this will be seeing. And uh, we are going to uh, see how much a full load of laundry takes out of this battery. So I know we started a few minutes ago. It might've been 87, I don't know, but let's just call it 86% that we're starting at and uh, we'll come back after it's done and uh, see how much power it's consumed. And just a side note here while we're letting the laundry happen, if you guys don't have a 10 gauge extension cord, you need one in your life. They are so handy and uh, can run anything you throw at it in a very safe way. So I'm gonna leave a link uh, for a 10 gauge extension cord down below, but uh, get one because it will change your life, trust me. The washer is in spin mode right now, and it's up to speed. So it's going to be pulling as much power as it's going to. And as you can see right there, we are pulling 500, just over 500 watts. The pump on the washer just uh, shut off. The dryer finished. Let's see how much it used. We're down to 35% state of charge. So what did that use? 51% of the battery to run a batch of wash. Let's take a look inside this battery. 
On first inspection, looks pretty darn sweet. Two pairs of 8 gauge wire going to each of the terminals. And they're snug and tight. This BMS is huge. I got it out of uh, the case so you can see the cylindrical cells uh, a little better. So, pretty darn nifty. Very nice build quality. This uh, rack that these are all in, very sturdy, very strong. All of the screws were marked, having been tightened. And I did not find any loose ones as I was uh, taking this out uh, or anything. So, very, very nice. I'll uh, flip it over so we can see the other side here. It looks like these are the temperature probes uh, coming down in uh, their respective uh, locations. So it looks like you get four of them. And I don't know if this is going to be easy to peel back or not. I'll try it though, just for you guys, okay? Oh, so that's kind of cool. The uh, the probe, oh, look at that, I can get it out. The probe goes up inside between the cells. I just noticed one more thing uh, as I was putting this away, but uh, right in here in the lid, it's got a really nice um, gasket so that uh, when it seats on this lip, um, there's a seal that actually happens there. That uh, concludes the testing on this uh, Golden Mate Orion 1000. I am incredibly impressed by its performance. The fact that a single 100 amp hour 12 volt battery could smash all the tests on its own is uh, pretty amazing. I think uh, these guys have outdone themselves on this. No lie, this battery is my favorite 12 volt battery that I've tested so far. I need more of these now. I want to test the uh, communication capabilities. I think that would be sweet. And uh, they're just so capable, it'd be super awesome to uh, have a bank of these. As we saw in the teardown, it has a nice sealed compartment in here. And so that means that it actually has an IP67 waterproof rating. So perfect for like a trolling motor or something and extra nice because of how much oomph this has. Be perfect for a trolling motor, I think. Five year warranty on it. It's rated to 4,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge. None of this 80% garbage. 4,000 cycles with a 100% depth of discharge. That's 100% all the way to zero. 4,000 times and I'm sure you could double that uh, probably by just discharging to 20% and then charging back up uh, from there and not going all the way to zero. But I think that's pretty impressive. Let's temporarily forget just how well it did in all the testing. Just the fact that you get that Bluetooth app control and then to be able to have this absolutely gorgeous screen here to see all the information and it's, it's discharging and charging and what have you. Uh, it's just such a nice battery. I'll leave a link for this battery down below and uh, also a coupon code for you that'll knock 15% uh, off, which brings this battery to a price point that I think is fantastic for what you're getting. And compared to other batteries that you know couldn't run the microwave or couldn't run the dryer or start the dryer and different things like that, to be able to have a battery that uh, could do that with, that has enough oomph to do that at this price point is an amazing deal. And I just like to remind all of you to be sure and like the video and please consider subscribing. That's 100% free for you to do, but uh, provides uh, valuable uh, insight and feedback to me and uh, really gives me the motivation to uh, continue uh, doing this kind of stuff for you and uh, these kinds of thorough tests. So this does not take a short time to do. These kinds of videos take a very long time. The uh, number one form of uh, compensation would be your likes, your subscribes, and any comments you'd have to share. I appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one.